Hello and welcome to AFL.com.au. I'm Harry Thring, and standing with me is Port Adelaide Vice Captain Brad Ebert. Brad, thanks for your time. This is your second year of being Vice Captain at the Power. What have you learnt over the last couple of years? Yeah, I guess it's um, it's been a good couple of years, really, in terms of um, the way that we've progressed compared to you know where we were at the start of last year. Um, so yeah, for me, it's been a lot about um, you know working with the younger players, uh, leading by example on game day, and really trying to keep the keep the mood up. I guess the last couple of weeks has been quite tough in terms of our performances, but yeah, I think that um, as a, lead, a leadership group as a whole, we've um, we've really tried to make sure that you know while we review our games pretty hard and um, and. You know, we work on those areas to, to uh, continually improve. We uh, we make sure that you know a few days after we're, we're making the, the mood around the place pretty light and and still trying to keep the fun in footy. So is that how you've sort of uh, tackled your your leadership over the last couple of weeks? Like you said, I think that you've lost uh, six of the last eight games, so it must be a tough time. Yeah, it has been, and um, I guess setting up our season at the start of the year, we were able to you know win. 10, 10 games out of 12 and, and we were looking pretty good, uh, similar to last year where we won the first five, then we went into a bit of a slump and lost the next five. So um, you, you can learn a fair bit from that that period of time where you know, we, we were trying to work through a fair few areas and, and continually improve, but um, yeah, this year I guess we've been able to yeah, um, make sure that we're, we're working on those areas, um, we're, we're continually trying to improve and you can actually see that that's happening over the last couple of weeks. We're, the performances are also improving a little bit and it's been frustrating that we probably haven't been able to, to get across the line like we should have. And you're still around the mark, you're only a win away from Fremantle uh, who's in fourth spot. Mm. Are you confident or how confident are you that by the time finals come around you'll be able to turn the form around? Yeah, I think the way that we've been playing over the last few weeks shows that we're we're on the right path. Um, you know, whilst it's it's still been quite disappoint, or it has been very disappointing to, to continually lose like we have been. Um, I think that it shows signs that uh, signs that we're on the right path. And um, and I guess you know coming into this week, we're going in confident that we can go back to the way we've been playing, go back to playing that exciting footy, um, that hard working, in tight um, football, um, and, and get the win, and then, and then go from there. So I guess um, the last three weeks are going to be massive for us, making sure that we're going in confident into finals and, and playing some good footy. So you fly up to the Gold Coast this weekend to tackle the Suns. Mm -hmm. They've struggled without Captain Gary Ablett, but at home, at Metricon Stadium, they're no slouch. No, they're not, and they've shown that all year. That every time at Metricon, they they put up a very, very good uh, contest, and um, I think they've won most of their games there, and they've been looking pretty exciting. And the team itself, they've you know they've got a star-studded young lineup. They've got a number of players that uh, are really exciting, and uh, and I'm sure they're going to be a, a dominant team in the future. And, and they're also playing some really good footy at the moment, so it's going to be a good contest for us. Get up to the Gold Coast and um, and see how we go. And you guys will be boosted by the return of Matt White from a two weeks out with a groin injury. What does he add to the group? Yeah, White has been great since he came across uh, from Richmond. You know, he's um, he's an exciting guy. He's you know pumped up and he's always bouncing around the club. And so I guess when he comes out on the game day, he brings that you know that bit of excitement and um, enthusiasm to the group. But then he also brings a fair bit of um, that, that run and that outside run. And and I think he creates a lot of play from that going inside forward fifty. So as a half forward, as a wing, he's been able to you know, provide that. And and also his finishing skills have been fantastic. He's been kicking goals and, and looking really good. And I understand you've uh, you've acquired a new nickname at the oh, club, or Mr. Social Media, you've, <laughs> you've got your Facebook, Instagram, you've got everything going, how many fans are you up to on Facebook at the moment? Oh, the Facebook's, yeah, really slow slow going at the moment, Andrew Fuss set me up with that one last week, and uh, yeah, he hasn't probably pumped me up as much as I would have liked, but that's okay, mate. No, nah, that's, um, yeah, we've just started up, uh, a lot of the boys are, you know, catching up with the, the social media age, and um, whilst a fair few of us have had the, the Instagram and Twitter for a fair while now, um, yeah, a few of the boys are starting to get on Facebook as well, so uh, make sure you're checking it out, guys. You've talked around. <laughs> You've talked around the question though. Bokey's I think up to five thousand oh, yeah. fans. Bokey's got How a many lot. Are you up to? Yeah, I'm only at about three hundred. Yeah, in a, in a week. So it's been <laughs> been a slow start, mate. But uh, you know, people want to see the lighter side of you and um, and you know what you get up to outside of footy. So hopefully that three hundred could perhaps go to four hundred one day. <laughs> oh, great stuff. Thank you very much for your time. Good luck this weekend and all the best for the rest of the season. Thanks, mate.